In this repair we are going to show you how to disassemble the Samsung Galaxy S2. This repair will be useful if, we have, if you have cracked the front LCD on your S2. In this repair you will need a Phillips screwdriver, a plastic pry tool and a flathead screwdriver. Before we begin it is important that we turn off the device. First we are going to begin by taking off the back cover. Start on the right hand side of the S2. Pry up the back cover like so and remove. Next we can start to disassemble the S2. Lift out the battery from the bottom first and remove like so. Now we can start to take off the plastic outer casing. This is held in place by several small screws. For this we will need the Phillips screwdriver. There is a total of seven screws which we will need to remove in order to get this casing off. Next, take the um, flathead screwdriver and insert it just by the volume button. Now we can start to pry up the outer casing like so. Work your way along the phone and start to lift up this plastic bezel. If the volume and power buttons come loose, it's no problem, just keep them to one side and make sure you do not lose them. We can now remove this plastic cover. We can now start to disassemble the logic board on the S2. This is held in place by two black screws. One is located at the top left and one is located at the bottom right hand corner. Once we have removed these screws, we can now go ahead and take the plastic pry tool and begin detaching all of the ribbon cables. We will also need to detach the antenna cable which is located on the left hand side of the motherboard. We can also begin to peel up the antenna cable all the way to the end and attach it from the logic board like so. The power button and volume button 
They're both connected to the logic board, so we will need to peel them away as they are held back by adhesive. Once we've done so, we can lift up the logic board, being careful not to tear any of the ribbon cables, and we can go ahead and remove the logic board. Next we can go ahead and remove the two small screws located at the bottom of the S2. Carefully we need to peel up this flex cable as it is held down by adhesive, like so. Next by taking the flathead screwdriver, start by inserting this on the left hand side of the S2 and gently prying up. Next we are going to slide out the dot connector. And remove this like so. Now we can start by removing the camera on the top right hand side of the S2. By taking the flathead screwdriver we need to remove this small metal bracket covering the camera flex. Once this small metal bracket has been removed, we can go ahead and slowly peel up the camera, like so. Now we can go ahead and remove the vibrate motor and the headphone jack. This is all connected in one piece, so we need to be very careful when removing. Start by inserting your flathead screwdriver at the top and gently prying up. Next we will need to pry up the volume the vibrate motor. Again, insert the flathead screwdriver and gently pry up until it comes loose. We will now be able to remove the complete cable, like so. Now we have removed all of the parts from this faulty or cracked S2 screen. We can now go ahead and take our new screen and reattach these. 